あんたは全力を出し切ってもこの程度だってことなんだよこれから私が天に行くぞ。But you guys weren't expecting this. <laughs> what is going on, you guys? This is your boy, the Death Master, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls character showcase. And today, for the first time ever, we're going to be showcasing the very first ever six star version of GGO Vega. GGO, GO, 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 whatever you guys want to call him. I'm just going to call him GGO because it's a lot better and it's just simple to call him, literally. If you guys have the exact pronunciation, let me know in the comment section below. And、uh, yeah, I figured this time around I would showcase the character using my face cam with my green screen wallpaper behind me that you guys can't see. So if you guys do happen to enjoy this type of content at the end of the video, let me know in the comment section below. But、uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's good that we got the ticket pack because I didn't even spend a dime. The only thing I really spent was my money, and it was worth it because guaranteed banner character. Now, that being said, I did want to get the power Baragon, but then I kind of thought to myself that getting Baragon would not really benefit my account, and secondly, he would literally have the same problem as Daddy Ichigo, where that second Tron attack, you need to wait for like around 18 plus seconds to get it back, and even then, you're gonna be stuck with an even worse first Tron attack, being the 18% shave range collision attack, making him just mid. I don't know about you guys, but I think that Power Baragon is a bit mid to me. That's just my opinion. For those of you guys that have him, let me know if you guys agree, disagree. I don't mind, really. I really don't mind getting、uh, different opinions. But, um, yeah, and I'm glad I got GGO just because of the simple matter of fact that he's a nat 30% link. So, for me, benefits me greatly for guild quests and everything else. And he's a fun flurry character. Believe it or not, he's actually very fun despite being that one unit that you don't need for a human killer GQ. Just because of the fact that we have the Senkama Tatsuki that just easily replaces this character, is free to play, and you can easily. 5 out of 5 her compared to this character, where you need to be lucky from tickets and hope to get him 5 5 from tickets and banners alone. So, there's that. He's a summonable unit, so that's basically why. A Ronker unit with the Human Killer has normal attack damage of 30%. Mine has level 6 attack. I unfortunately don't have the、uh, resources to get him to、uh, level 10 attack because of the fact that I'm currently trying to save my large scrolls for units that I plan to work on. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get his attack to level 10. But not for the showcase. So,、uh, yeah, T10 because I don't have the resources to get him to T15, and I don't plan to、uh, T15 or T20 this character just yet, to be honest. But,、um, yeah, taking a look at the overall attacks and the skills, unfortunately, on his kit, he has no status elements and his soul bomb does nothing. But the six star skills, on the other hand, are actually insane because he is immune to poison, which is already pretty good. It's what you would want to have on him for guild quests. Also, has guard break, making him very good outside of、uh, guild quests. So, yeah. And surprisingly, has long stride. I think this is the first flurry character to get long stride without having to go out of your way to T15 or T20 a character. If you guys know a flurry character that has that already, let me know in the comment section below. But I think this is a first. Normal tech damage of 90%. From the six star skill, he basically has 60% bruiser. But because he has normal tag damage of 30%, it basically easily rounds up to 90%. So, already very good damage numbers. Has a 50% Berserker follow up, which is very nice, meaning that he's gonna be able to even kill the enemies that have been downed. Flutter plus one, 10% melee damage outside of guild quests, and 30% inside of guild quests. Sprinter plus two, poise, and star barrier plus 10. Very, very good skills. Very, very good skills. My only gripe with this character is that I wish he had, per se, Soul Reaper Killer and he had a boost on the second strong attack. I think that would have been marvelous to have as an actual Guild Quest melee NAD character overall, in my opinion. But it is what it is. We can't really complain too much about it. They already made the character, so yeah. But I still think that this character is going to be fun. 
because, well, we're about to get into why. I'm gonna be doing two builds on this character, being the hybrid Nad build, and then we're gonna go for the full-on Nad build. So starting it off with the Nad build, roll it, thank you very much. This is what we gave him. We gave him a bait, kill, and a hunting cap, all with 30% attack. I don't have the Bao Bao accessory for Tech Aronkers because, believe it or not, I never really had to work on one until now, because this is the first Tech Nad Aronker unit that I'm bringing to my channel in which I'm showcasing. Uh, the character links, we have ourselves Senbon Zakra and Ruruka, which are both giving strong attack damage and normal attack damage uh, in their respective links. So yeah, and then we have the Senkamonizen right here, giving out full stamp of 20% and an extra 20% sad. So very good. His Bruiser is now at a good whopping 126% and the Berserker at 111% with a lot of attack and a bit of SP in the mix. So yeah, with this, here is how much overall spiritual pressure we have and attack. But hold on, the attack first. He's got 2,992, so it's not too terrible. And then the SP, on the other hand, it's a bit on the lower side since it's only 35% and he's not 2 out of 5 or 3 out of 5 to even benefit the whole, you know, increase in SP. So yeah, 1,433. That's all you guys really need to know in terms of the stat increases. But that's not all, lads. We're going to be bringing with us this Tech Nelial right here because she gives out an extra 20% bruiser to Technique Aronkars. So that's already going to get his bruiser up to like 146%, I think. I may be wrong. And then we have Halibel right here who is going to boost on the second Tron attack. So that's going to increase the attack by a good 33%. So with that being said, Let's get into the run. Okay, now, before we go ahead and showcase this character, all you guys need to know is that his kit is literally copy and pasted from Spirits Are Forever With You, so if one Only difference is the animation. That's all you guys really need to know, literally. But uh, yeah, let's get to showcasing the damage numbers. Very good, he got to 24K on his NAD. Very good, no boost, by the way. SA1, 10k. Okay, that's not too terrible. And now for the SA2, 10k as well. And then the SA3, 5k damage. Keep in mind, it is the suction vortex, so there is a bit less damage, but yeah, he does them all right. Like, yeah, it's okay. Now let's switch on over to Pallet Ball. There we go. 32k, that's very good. A good 12k on the SA1, not too shabby, not too shabby. SA2, 13k, and then the SA3, 7k. Yeah, he does good damage numbers, he does good damage numbers. Obviously, this is not the ideal build you would want to use for co-op, because, realistically speaking, it's not even going to be good. He doesn't even have killer to begin with, so already I highly disregard the build in general. But everything else for when it comes to his mad, he's putting up a pretty good job. And again, he doesn't have killer. So it's literally the same scenario as Abirama, where he has the highest multipliers, despite only having flurry plus one. And he still does a lot and a lot of damage, which is actually pretty good. So, yeah, that's the hybrid build. Not too bad, but keep it again, like always, only for single player content. Lastly, the build that you guys have been waiting for, the Nad build. This is what we gave him. A bait, golden champion, a champion with 30% attack. And the links, we have ourselves a true Shika Ichigo, which is max transcendent with 500 attack. Fiori, which is 5 out of 5, level 10 attack, but still only has 2 star attack to this day. Yeah, I should try to go for 500 attack, but I don't want to in case of an event that I pull Saji. So that's all you guys really need to know why. And then we have Abirama right here that has NAD 30% and I have his attack at level 10. So yeah, easy, 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 186% increased attack. The Bruiser is now at a good 160%. Now, if I had per se uh, 225 NAD links with level 10 attack, I would have probably ran them over TSI and Hiori and probably gotten it increased up to 170%, but that would mean missing out on a lot and a lot and a lot of attack. So yeah, that's basically why I went for this type of route. 
And the oral attack? 4,040. That is good. If I had his attack at level 10, I think 5k attack would have definitely have been accomplishable. Definitely, definitely. And as for the rest of the characters, uh, same thing. Like, honestly, we're just gonna keep the same setup like we always did and, you know, just go for showcasing the NAD build. So, what are we waiting for? All right, let's go. And, oh, oh, yo, yo, chill. Chill, I haven't, this guy does 27k already. 29. Yo, can we get to 30k? Can we get to 30k? I think it's definitely possible. Oh, yo. Yo, come on. 30k. 30k right now. Right now. There we go. We did 30k. Yeah, it was definitely achievable. And, uh, yeah. I have no full stamina on him, so it's not even an issue. Boost up with the Halid ball. And now... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 42k... On that last hit, that's crazy. This character is stupidly fun, despite not having uh, like a crawling vortex or any kind of boost for that matter of fact. So like, yeah. In my opinion, as a tech nat character, I do find him to be better than Oetsu auto wing wise and manual flame wise, just because of the fact that he has long stride. Even though this guy doesn't have killer, like he has the multipliers to make up for it. Like bro, he's literally got almost the same multipliers as Abirama. You cannot really go wrong with that in the slightest bit and this character does stupidly good so yeah very good character i have to say that much even though again i still have my gripes with him just because of the fact that um for guild quests you can literally settle for two senkamon tatskis that are 5-5 five five and literally live without this character and secondly he could have gotten a different killer and you know be useful somewhere else but like Everything else, I think this character is fun. I think he's fine the way he is. So, it is what it is. Now, that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have actually enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent video. And uh, if you guys enjoy more of these types of videos in which I have my face cam on the actual showcase... Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want more of them or if you don't want it to be a thing. Like, it's always great to have some feedback. I figure I may as well do something different for the actual channel, so yeah. Let me know, boys. Anyways, this has been your boy, The Death Smasher. Expect more videos to come in the future, and uh, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out, lads. Whoa!